Hello, so we're flying around near this planet. What I can do now is bring up a window, take a closer look at the ship. And what I've got here is three components installed on the ship. A cannon at the front, engine at the back, and in the middle I've got a few reactors to generate power for the ship. Um, this doesn't actually all do anything at the moment, it's just a prototype for this. Um, what it enables you to do is um, go through, look at the status, see if things are damaged and maybe there's options here. For example, you can tell the cannons that instead of you controlling them, you want them to be automatic so they'll spin around and shoot anything nearby so you can concentrate on flying. Um, also, if you want to reconfigure your ship, so you want to add stuff or you want to move stuff around, then eventually you'll only be able to do this in a sort of when you're docked in a store in the game. Uh, but for now, I've got it enabled by default. So what you can do is you can go over an existing part, and uh, it shows available commands on the right, and it says you can sell the part for a hundred. And the top left-hand corner, it's got how much money you've currently got. So if I just sell that part, it's gone. And then I can buy another part in a different part. If I press B to buy, it will go into the store view. Uh, this is still being designed, so it looks a bit of a mess at the moment. But what it displays is the items that are available in the store along with their price. You can move over them to get a detailed description, or eventually it will give you a detailed description. So you can see exactly what those items do. Uh, choose which one you want to install. And install it. Install another one here. At the front, I'll put a double can. So it's pretty quick to sort of rearrange and, and configure the ship. Um, and what this is, is going to be for is so that you can customize it. It's going to be part of the game to actually choose, you know, what what the best configuration is, um, which is kind of a uh, decision that's going to be quite difficult because you've only got eight slots and there's going to be a lot of different parts you probably want to install, but there's not enough space. Um, so you're going to have to do things like instead of buying lots of guns, you might actually just save the money to buy one big really good gun because that will save space for other parts. Uh, also, depending on what you want to do, if you're flying a long distance, you might want an extra fuel tank, um, so that will take priority. But if you're not flying a long distance, it's probably better to put something else there. Um, you can also maybe decide whether you really want to avoid trouble or face trouble, so that will decide whether you put a lot of engines on the back or a big engine, or whether you fit, fill the whole thing with weapons. Um, there'll be other components you can have as well, such as um, like a sort of long-range radar. If you may, it'll be useful if you're looking for something. Um, also, maybe extra room for storing stuff. Um, just various sort of like um, like shield generator or something like that you can choose from. Uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to show. I'm still working on this. In the next video, I should actually have these things working, so that, for example, when I exit here now. Eventually what should happen is your ship will now fire three shots at once because you've got three guns. Um, and if you put more engines, then your ship will go faster. Um, yeah, so hopefully next video I will have that sorted out. And also the rules on how stuff work, like um, what does the fuel reactor do? I know it converts fuel into power, but what's the power for? Uh, my idea was that the weapons would require power, so the more weapons you got, the more power you need. If you don't have enough power, then your rate of fire would just slow down. Uh, so you always want to like bump the power up. Same with the engines, if you don't have enough power, then uh, maybe the engine engines aren't as efficient and you go a bit slower. Um, obviously you've got like fuel engines as well, so these this is a fuel reactor and, and a fuel engine, so they will both require fuel, so you'll have to actually have a fuel tank. Um, well, um, you'll have to have a fuel tank if you want additional fuel. Um, and if your fuel runs out, you're stuck. But there could be better uh, components out there. There can be like um, reactors, uh, like for example, like a nuclear reactor, and you wouldn't actually need, you know, you wouldn't actually need fuel fuel for that. Um, so that would be something you'd really want because then you wouldn't have to worry about running out of fuel. But that would probably be a very expensive uh, type of reactor. Similar with the engine, um, you could have uh, an engine that doesn't require fuel, uh, maybe some sort of plasma engine or something. Um, so yeah, that's all I wanted to show for this video. Uh, thanks for watching.